Eye on the Movies with Corey Brunish, an Oregon perspective on Hollywood, the pictures, and the people. Former daytime soap actress Mia Sara has had a busy year. She starred with Tom Cruise in Legend and now appears opposite Matthew Broderick in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oddly enough, acting is not her first love. Recently in Los Angeles, I spoke with Sarah about her career. Not my first love, no. But it's become my uh, obsession. <laughs> um, no, writing. I always wanted to be a writer. I, I, don't, I think I have, an, I have a sort of exaggerated respect for the written word, I think, probably. But it, you, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> so, yes. You were almost Shakespearean in legend, and now you play a high school girl from Chicago, which right. is wonderfully yeah. normal. It seems like that would open up some roles for you, maybe Masterpiece Theater. Have, have you thought about something like that? Yes, of course. I don't. Um, I think that I have that, uh, um, maybe it's my face, you know? <laughs> I think it's probably all in the face, this business. But, I, um, uh, but also in your speech. Yeah, that, yeah. Some yeah. people can't I think, do it. Yeah. I mean, I think I was well suited to legend. How different was that experience from this one? It was, you know, completely opposite. This is a, Ferris Bueller was fun, you know. It was like, oh, I'm talking to people, not trees. <laughs> and, you know, it was, large it was, devils, yeah. Yeah, large red men, yeah. No, it was, uh, legend was my one experience. And to come to this, I feel I've learned what it's really like to make a movie, you know, because uh, I was working with actors and, and uh, you know, it's complete, using a different, using a different you to you know, as a professional you know you really are were you there for the fire during legend yes yes um we broke for lunch uh we took the half in Eng well i guess they say that in america yeah we took the half hour and we went to lunch and uh and i was in rushes and i came out of rushes and the 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 building the most predominant building was on fire you know the big stage and all of a sudden the sky was black and you know, you don't, you can't believe it's gone. And we just, the entire studio was there. Everyone was crying. It just melted. It was just gone. Yeah, was but you were able really to tragedy. rebuild part and then, and then they, finish they the They rebuilt film. it outside. By the time we finished Legend, they, Pinewood wanted us out of there. They were putting us on scene docks. No more stages. We don't want you in the studio, people. It's eight months. It's a long time. It must have been nice to work in the streets of Chicago. There's less of a chance of the Chicago, set burning. <laughs> Chicago's a wonderful town. It really is. And, uh, and I'd never done location before. And it's fun. It's really fun. So, uh, you know, I, I, I think I'd like to do a, a, more of that, really, you know, because working in a studio can be so, after a few months, you get, I mean, you feel like you're a prisoner, in a way. I mean, it was all summer, and I missed the summer, because I wasn't, I wasn't allowed out, you know, so my makeup would melt, you know, and I, it was really, I felt really trapped in that way, so it was wonderful to work outside. The character in this, in this film, Sloan, um, is extraordinary, and uh, because, because of, of that quality that, that hopefully she has, She's, she's incredibly secure and has a real peace inside of her. And I think that, I um, wish I knew more people like Sloan, because a lot of people my age, you know, when I was in high school were just, you know, very confused and, and uh, didn't know what they wanted. And, and um, I don't think Sloan's really worried about that. She's, she's you know, she feels okay. You know? <laughs> what do you do when the director wants you to do something that you maybe don't agree with? How do you handle you that? You talk about it. <laughs> you talk about it. You know, I mean, if you have a if you have a valid reason, you know, I mean, any director, it's his job to listen to it and uh, try to work it out, and make you feel comfortable. You know, I mean, uh, the most important thing is what is what on the other, you know, what comes out on screen. And if there's a problem, then um, you know, it's a director's job and and an actor's job to to try to make it work in some way. You know, that's where the communication comes in and is so important. You know, between an actor and a director. So Have you had good luck with both your directors? Both. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I had a real. Um, I think I'm. I'm a, on one hand, I'm a very visual person, um, and Ridley would describe things by gesticulating and drawing pictures and, and saying, "You know what I mean?" And I say, "Yep, I know exactly." And I did, and and it was. I was able, I think, to to do what he wanted me to do. And John um, is a writer. You know, I think, you know, he's really a writer, and and, uh, and he has and he thinks the way a writer does, and. Um, and, um, and I, of course, respect that. So, it was, so in that, I was lucky as well. Next on Eye on the Movies, we'll meet Jennifer Gray, daughter of Oscar winner Joel Gray, and talk with the director of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 
John Hughes. Keeping an eye on the movies, oh. I'm Corey Brunish. Mm. That's it. I want out of this family. <laughs>